nuts. That is officially every single order sent out. We are up to date. Everyone that has ordered a Flex of the Month sticker, they are on the way to you. You will receive them any day now. What is up guys? Welcome to today's video. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, as you just saw, dropped off all the orders, all 50 of the outstanding orders with the Flex of the Month and just everything else. So we are officially up to date on the store. Uh, so if you're gonna order a sticker or anything, you're not gonna have to wait as long kind of thing because they're all ready to go and everything. And also it was our very first international order. So Picnic is now international. There are stickers in the United States of America, which is freaking awesome. And on top of that, today is a freaking killer day. It is nice. I almost need to take off this hoodie, even though it's the middle of winter, just because it's such good weather. Oh, I don't know what I want to do today, but I just want to get out and about. I got some stuff planned for this weekend. I think I just want to get out and drive the wagon today and just enjoy it. It's been, a, it's been so long since I've just taken it out and driven it. So I'm keen to just take it out and drive it. Maybe today's video is literally just going to be us cruising around in the wagon for a little bit. Oh, alrighty, I'll uh, jump home and then we'll pick up from where we've left off. Coincidentally, this VF like lives right around the corner from me and it's a Series 1 VF. Uh, and that's the same front end that's on the wagon. And I remember like uh, the weeks leading up to like getting, like receiving the front end kit and uh, the, the time that was leading up to me actually putting it all together and everything. Every time I'd walk Leo and every time I'd leave the house, I'd always make sure I walked past that so that I could see and kind of envision and everything just because I was that excited. It, it's still cool to look at that car, especially with the Vatini Dynasties. Because I still remember like back in... I wouldn't say back in the day, but when the VEs came out, you had G8s and Vatini Dynasties. Those are the only wheels. If you owned if you owned a VE Commodore and you didn't have those wheels, sell the car, get rid of it. It was it was such a controlled market back then. <sighs> Alrighty, I'll catch up to you when I'm back at home because I'm I'm puffed out. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and rip the entire sound system out. Hear me out. I know I only just made a video not too long ago bragging about how good it was, but I have bigger plans, bigger things I want to do with the wagon crazier ideas, all of those of which go down the path of making the wagon extremely loud, which makes a sound system, especially one of this level or caliber, very pointless. So why don't we go ahead and pull everything out, sell it to fund other cool things, bigger projects, crazier things. You know what, with about six months to summon that's I love that idea. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Also, exhaust, still here. If you want a two and a half inch stainless steel X-Force midsection for a VE or a VF, hit me up. Because I think instead of sitting around and waiting for things to happen, I reckon if we start getting that ball rolling, start making some crazy changes, I reckon we get some big things happening. And I really want some big things to happen to the wagon, especially for summer nights. I actually think that's a, it's a good idea, especially if I'm not getting use out of it, I would love for someone else to get use out of it. So maybe I'll pull it out, pass it on to someone else. They can get their great use out of it, just like I did with mine and we can start funding some cooler, newer projects on the channel, which I'm really keen on. Also, if you would love to contribute and love to uh, help the channel reach new boundaries and go to next steps, picnicmedia.com, grab a couple stickers. We've got some merch designs coming up. We've got some, like, some little things as well, maybe some jet tags, things like that. Just some little things. If you wanna support the channel, grab some stickers. It is that simple. You have no idea how much it actually helps. Also, before we quickly just start ripping into the wagon and everything like that, I really want to take a moment out to uh, get on a serious note kind of thing. I want to give a shout out to my boy, Nick Poulton. Um, I've recently heard that he's, uh, he's, he's had some bad news in the family kind of thing. Um, just, just a quick shout out, man. I know you're a great supporter of the channel and everything like that. So I really, really just want to give you a shout out just to tell you, chin up, man. Keep pushing through. I'm really praying that everything gets better soon, man. Alrighty, so I guess we'll start with the subs and the amps because they're the easiest to get to. I've got the three-way flax speakers in the, in the pillars and everything. But at least for now, so there's not just empty gaping holes, I'll just leave them in there. I might advertise them, see if anything comes up, then maybe so. But I think we'll uh, start pulling the subs out in the back. And I really don't want to take all this stuff out because like as well like as trying to have like a car show vibe it's it's just a really wicked little setting and it really ties it in but what would be even cooler would be having a fuel cell here so i guess horses for courses kind of thing um it's gonna get a new use anyways so out it comes i guess now i do get a, like a hundred questions about this all the time and all this really is is a fancy floor mat so pretty much what happened is a company hit me up like, God, a couple of years ago now. And what they do is they 3D scan everything. So they scanned the, the footwells up the front, the middle of the car, and did the cargo area back here. And then it, they pretty much just produced this from a 3D scanning. I'm pretty sure it's all Chinese based and everything, but it looks freaking wicked and I love it. And it really adds to the car. 
especially when I can't afford just yet to do like diamond stitching on the, like on a custom uh, interior with the seats and everything. Something like this is wicked. But I, I get so many questions about it. I don't even remember the company or remember, I don't even know if they're still a thing. But I have seen them before in, in other countries, other states, other, other videos, other different types of cars. I know they are out there. I don't know how you'd find them. They hit me up. I don't even know if they're still a company. But yeah, this, this is the outcome. It, I don't know what I'm going to really be able to do with this back piece because there's holes cut for the subs and there's like slashes in it for like where the wires go through for the amp and everything. So I don't know what we're going to be able to do with it, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Maybe uh, maybe when we have a fuel cell or something, we'll cover up the, the holes and everything for it. But uh, yeah, I'll just keep ripping stuff out for now. Freaking years. Years since I've had this out. Like you can actually like see that it's properly indented around there where I've cut. But yeah, I literally just got boxes full of Dacron. This setup is so old and everything. Like nice carbon caps. These subs are really nice. And uh, they're still like pretty much brand new more or less. Like they've never had much of a thrashing on them. Like, oh, they're still super stiff. They're really good condition. So hopefully things like this can help fund more projects on the wagon. So I plan to go to Sydney this weekend too. And I'm driving up, and so I'm gonna put the muffles on so it's not annoying. But the one thing that takes the easeability out of swapping the muffles out is these little lips as they go into the hanger. So I'm just taking, oh boy, Mr. Flappy here. Just wearing them down on an angle and kind of like taking them down just so they slip in a little bit better through the rubber with a bit of WD-40. So uh, yeah, just, just smashing that down first and then I'm whacking those in real quick. So I've got both subs and the amp out. The big dogs. I guess we had to post up, or I guess if any of you guys want any of these, hit me up. If you're a subscriber, I'm of course gonna do you a better deal. Now that I've gotten the muffler deletes off and put the mufflers back on, I dare say we'll pull the car out because we gotta go put fuel in it. Let's see if she, if the battery's died or not. God damn it, gonna need to jump start it. Alrighty, so we're back to that deep, quiet, delicious purr and uh, now we have to go fill her up because she hasn't had fuel in her in freaking ages. God, it's been a while since I filled this puppy up. I wonder how uh, how much it will take before it before it stops. This could be very expensive, but she deserves it. It's been a while since I bloody put any fuel in her. Months, I think. Oh, nice. Not even ninety bucks. Cross she starts. Like a bloody brand new car, mate. Thought while I was here, since I'm out and about, and I may as well uh, inflate the tires because they're looking looking a little bit sad. Especially if I'm driving three plus hours. I want to make sure that they're all G. Huh, oh, only 33. It's not too bad. All right, I'll chuck these on, then we'll race home. I don't think you are. I think it's probably a bit boring watching me inflate tires. So uh, I'll do this, we'll jump home and I'll get back to you. Alrighty, so I guess that's Maiden Voyage with the front splitter. I mean, in a way, Maiden Voyage since I've done the whole front end. Like, that's the first time I've driven more than 30 seconds kind of thing. And uh, I guess the true testament to my skill of putting a whole front end on a car will be proven when I drive to Sydney because hopefully it doesn't fall apart on the freeway. But I reckon that's going to be it for today at least. Um, I know it was just kind of like weird stuff and everything. Um, you got to hear it again with the, uh, with the mufflers on the back. It does sound wicked. It's just, it's just quiet. That's the only thing. And obviously we can't have quiet. Um, but yeah, that's probably gonna be it for today's video. Um, I'm, we're doing stuff this weekend in Sydney. So there's gonna be some good content next week. So make sure, especially if you're new here, jump on the page, hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, join the picnic. Um, we upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday, every week at 6 p.m. So we got more content coming all the time. Uh, if you're on Instagram, make sure you give us a follow. Just dropping it down right here so you can find us with these. 
Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. I'll catch you guys Monday, 6 p.m. Alrighty, guys. Peace. I've been in thugging, you bitching and bugging. There's nothing that we got in common. I've been out grinding and hustling, investing this paper. Got tired of eating that ramen. All of my music be heat, I ain't missing a beat. I've been blessed with impeccable timing. Watch all them people who friendly, it turn into envy whenever they see that you shining. Okay, I'm.